In 1985, you praised the Sandinista government and you said that Daniel Ortega was an impressive guy. Uh, this is what you said about Fidel Castro. Let's listen. You may recall way back in, what was it, 1961, they invaded Cuba. And everybody was totally convinced that Castro was the worst guy in the world, that all the Cuban people were going to rise up in rebellion against Fidel Castro. They had forgot that he educated their kids, gave them health care, totally transformed the society. In South Florida, there are still open wounds among some exiles regarding socialism and communism. So please explain what is the difference between the socialism well, that you profess and the socialism in Nicaragua, Cuba, and well, Venezuela. Well, let me just answer that. What that was about was saying that the United States was wrong to try to invade Cuba, that the United States was wrong trying to eat support people to overthrow the Nicaraguan government, that the United States was wrong trying to overthrow in 1954 the government, democratically elected government of Guatemala. Throughout the history of our relationship with Latin America, we've operated under the so-called Monroe Doctrine. And that said that the United States had the right to do anything that they wanted to do in Latin America. So I actually went to Nicaragua, and I very strongly opposed the Reagan administration's effort to overthrow that government. And I strongly opposed earlier uh, Henry Kissinger uh, and the, uh, to overthrow the government of Salvador Allende in Chile. I think the United States should be working with governments around the world, not get involved in regime change. And all of these actions, by the way, in Latin America brought forth a lot of very strong anti-American sentiments. That's what that was about.